Hey everyone, my name is Darius and today I'll show you how the client and plugin systems of the Eliza framework work. Specifically, we'll modify the agent we created in the first video to be able to interact with the Multiverse X blockchain and interact with X, formerly Twitter. First, let's focus on the Multiverse X plugin. We're in the Eliza repo and if, if we go here under packages, we can find all of the available clients and plugins. And if we scroll down, here it is, the Multiverse X plugin. It has a very detailed documentation, so in case something in this video doesn't make sense, you can explore everything in detail here. Also, the Eliza framework and the Multiverse X plugin are both open source, so if you want to contribute, feel free to submit a PR. Now, let's get back to our agent. First, to give it access to the Multiverse X blockchain, we'll need to configure the environment variables. For that, we'll go to the .env file. Here, we have two variables that we need to specify, the private key, and the network. For this experiment, we'll use the DevNet network and I'll also add the private key. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now that we configure the environment variables, we'll need to give our agent access to the Multiverse X plugin. To do this, we need to import the plugin, as I already did here, and we simply need to add it to the plugins list. Like this. And that's it. Now the agent has access to the Multiverse X blockchain. Now, let's start the server again and test our agent. After starting the server, as you can see here, the server tells us that the agent now detected the send token and create token functions. This means that the plugin was successfully installed. Now, let's actually ask the agent to do something for us. Let's first ask the agent to create a token. So in this case, I'll ask it to create a token called test video with a ticker TST, 18 decimal places and a supply of 10,000. And now, if we analyze the console, we can see that the agent autonomously called the create token function with the parameters I wanted, and it returned the resulting transactions behind the scenes. Let's see it. And if we click the link... Okay, it's still pending, we'll wait a bit. There we go, success! So, it successfully created this token. And we can see all of the transaction details here in the Multiverse X DevNet Explorer. Okay, now that we did this, let's try actually sending the token. Okay, so the agent sent the token. Now let's actually try, instead of using the link from the console, to actually go ourselves to the Multiverse X Explorer and search for this address to see if it received it. We'll search for it manually. And there we go, 3 minutes ago, we can see all of the details here, and if we enter it, we can see that it was a success. Perfect, so our agent can create and send tokens on the Multiverse X blockchain. Ok, now that we've seen how to interact with the Multiverse X blockchain, let me also show you how you can use the client system to interact with X, or formerly Twitter. For this, we also have a dedicated section in the .env file as well. So, we can configure a lot of stuff. First, we have the username, password, and all of the credentials. Then, we have a poll interval, uh, the search function, target users. Here is very interesting because we can specify only some users for the agent to interact with. A retry limit. We also have the post interval. This means a minimum and a maximum number of minutes in which the agent can post. And, of course, we have the post immediately if we want when we start the agent to uh, post. We'll set this to true. And the action processing. Actions refer to likes, retweets, comments and stuff like that. If we don't enable this one, the agent will, will only post and reply to its own threads. We'll set this to true. Ok, we can leave all of the other settings to default. First, we'll need to give the agent access to the Twitter client. For this, we'll import it. We'll import the clients. And then simply add the clients. Twitter here under the clients list. Of course, you can add multiple clients just as we did with the plugins. For the credentials, we're actually going to give them to the agent as secrets. I want to do it this way to show you that each agent can have their own individual accounts and also individual blockchain wallets, so we could have set the wallet address here as well. Now, in this case, we have three secrets to worry about. The username, the password and the email for the Twitter account. I'll set them up immediately and be right back. Ok, now that we've set everything up, we just need to restart the server and to let the agent do its thing. 
Okay, as you can see here in the console, the agent successfully logged into Twitter and now it's posting. See, we can see all the actions here. And now if we go to Twitter and refresh, there we go. It retweeted a tweet from NASA and also added some text, it posted something and so on. It can also reply, so you can see the replies and it's all good, like four seconds ago, so it keeps doing this. Now, of course, as you can see, it's kind of spammy, so I'll stop it. But of course, you can play around with the timings and all that and make it work just as you want. Now, you know how to interact with the Multiverse X blockchain and make the agent use X. Thanks for watching.